Okay, now that I have got the hang of calling the correct title of quarterfinal, this is not the semi-final, this is the quarterfinal. Last round was a round of 16, but live and learn. Bakura and Joey, two two guys that never faced off in the anime, to my knowledge. Um, yeah, I'm certain they didn't. Um, so, interesting duel. We get to see Joey and Bakura go head-to-head -head as if they were in Duelist Kingdom. This should be a, an interesting match because Bakura's got some nasty cards. He's Joey's got a little bit more hard-hitting power. So, yeah, this duel, I reckon this one really is 50-50. All right, we're looking from Bakura's perspective because we've seen Joey's hand a few times in the past. Trap Hole, Just Desserts, Chain Energy as well. He used that against Bandit Keith in the last round and it was quite useful. So Bakura has elected to, he's elected to play Chain Energy as well. He's got Trap Hole on the field as well. That Phantom Ghost won't do much, but it's still serving as a defense. All right, both players will have to pay 500 life points to play any card to the field. Joey has played Darkfire Soldier. And Bakura will activate Trap Hole on that. So that's 500 life points off of Joey for pretty much no reward. A good combo play from Bakura. Getting that trap hole on the field to get that dark fire soldier off. All right, Earl of Demise, what a draw. This one could be over early. It could be over really, really early. All right, well, with Earl of Demise on the field, Joey's got nothing to protect himself. That's going to be 2,000 points. Or, if you look at it this way, four cards that Joey now can't play on the field. That's how dangerous chain energy can be. So Bakura with a 2,000 point advantage on life points. Okay, block attack. Oh, Earl of Demise sent to defense mode. Very good play from Joey. Um, Earl of Demise only has 700 defense. And polymerization, wow. Joey has already drawn fusion. Is it Thousand Dragon or are we seeing the Flame Swordsman? Wow, that is a mental hand from Joey to draw fusion material this early in the game. Flame Swordsman is to the field. We do get a little animation with that as well. Joey is able to play another monster from his hand too, if he's got one, because that is a special summon. Special summon was a real um, was a real luxury back in these days. You you couldn't just you know blurt uh, special summons out at will. All right, Joey has had to flush quite a few points. He's just played the Karate Man as well. And oh, good move. Having that just desserts on the field, Joey can only play up to five more cards onto the field from here as well. But Bakora is actually in trouble. He's only got Reverse Trap in his hand. Earl of Demise is gone and Flame Swordsman has just launched a direct attack, taking off 1800 life points. Get the feeling this is gonna be a very quick match. All right, the one who hunts souls that can destroy Karate Man. And it's probably the best move that Bakura can go for. No, he's elected not to. Interesting move. If he got Karate Man off the field there, that may, that may very well have been the better move. Okay, Karate Man has decided to attack. So, oh, reinforcements. What a play from Joey. All right, Bakura is now the one in real trouble here. I mean, I don't think it would have mattered. Flame Swordsman would have destroyed the one who hunts souls anyway, even if it was played an attack and destroyed Karate Man. Bakura needs something here, and oh, he doesn't, he doesn't get it. He's drawn Yami, which would have given some of his monsters 200 attack points. Did Bakura just end the match? No, he's... Well, he did. Playing Yami was the worst possible move he could have done because he lost 500 life points for it. Which means when Joey direct attacks, 
um, but Cora won't be able to play any cards because he won't have enough life points. I mean, it doesn't matter. Karate Man can double its attack anyway, which Joey does. Well, it was a very quick and fast-paced duel, but Joey has picked up the win. That chain energy is a brutal card to draw early on. And it really makes a game 50-50. Chain energy has backfired on Bakura in this round, but very entertaining duel. Well, they do say a quick game is a good game. Anyway, let's pull up the tournament bracket and let's have a look at who is going to be playing in the next match. And the next match will consist of... Uh, if I can find my bracket... No, uh, where have I put it? I know you can see it on screen. I have lost it momentarily because... I have, there it is. I have too many images floating around. Um, the next match is My Valentine against Panic the Eliminator. So we have an actual Duelist Kingdom anime duel going on, which should be very, very interesting because we didn't actually see that duel. We just saw Mai's Harpies get destroyed at the end. So we can see how it plays out. Maybe Mai can get some revenge. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this fast-paced duel between... Bakora and Joey. I'll be back at it tomorrow, midnight, in Western Australian time. Until then, farewell. In I really am enjoying the company and the support so far as well, by the way. Keep cool, everyone. Farewell. <laughs>